I'm Dom Laporte. You're watching Arts, Fortune, and Fame. We're at Hashtag Gallery. Oh man, age old question. Little boy, for sure. Uh, one of those people, I guess, that like kind of found my calling early and just always kind of followed that. I really supportive family and parents. My mom's a painter, my brother's a graffiti artist. It's kind of just uh, thrown into it. Um, thrown into it early, for sure. Like, I went to an, art, an art, arts-based high school. I went post-secondary. I was introduced to hip hop at a young age as well. So that kind of crafted, or kind of, sent me in a direction of doing um, hip hop based work. But uh, yeah, it's definitely been my, my, uh, my calling for a long time, yeah. Well, I don't know anyone who's in, into hip hop knows that hip hop is a lifestyle in itself, right? So um, through, I'm always one to, to, to listen to music while I paint. And, and these are the people that me and my brother thought who are the ones who don't get enough love or people who should get more love than somebody else based on, you know, just based on their expertise or be, we just thought like these people need to be celebrated more, you know, so and coming from a place where in the art world where um, where there's, uh, you know, certain artists get, get more love than others based on, you know, who you know or, or, you know, it's a lot like a politics game. So we're trying to, you know, showing ourselves like, hey, show us the love that we deserve and show them the love that they deserve, right? Graffiti means illegal, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, graffiti, me, I think, you know, the whole, my brother could speak on this better than I can, but graffiti means definitely putting your name up and creating an identity for yourself. I don't think graffiti exists in a gallery space. I don't think it should. Uh, the word graffiti, like, intends, it, it, you know, it, it, it suggests Ill illegality, right? but you know, the style of graffiti can be put in the gallery, which is what you see, you know? Well, we have graffiti has influenced both, both me and my brother's process into the gallery space, but graffiti itself belongs on the street. <laughs> Try to make a living, man, for sure. Like there's, especially now, there's way more avenues for graffiti artists to transcend from the street to the gallery world. Because, you know, you know, you'll see a L'Oreal shampoo commercial and there's a DJ in it or there's someone doing a throw up in the background. Why? You know what I mean? Because hip hop is infectious. It's meant like it, 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 it's, it appeals to the masses, you know? So that's definitely like an avenue as someone, as, as graffiti artists, as people who love hip hop, you know, we don't want to commercialize it, but we want to definitely try to get, try to get some, try to get our, our, our paper, you know, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> try to make a living, yeah. As a freelance artist, as a painter myself, branding is extremely important because you are your own business. So definitely you have to be able to handle yourself um, business-wise. You know, it's not just making a painting and making like someone buys and you, you're rich, you know? That's not, that's not what it's about and that's not how you, how, you, how you make money off it. It's how to, by branding yourself, you're, you're showing that you are almost a commodity, as a horrible a word as that is. But, um, it's very, it's super important, I'd say, you know, like you really have to handle yourself as, as if you were like a company. Yeah. Um, a blend between classic portraiture and, just, uh, I guess like kind of abstract street funk graffiti. Okay, so <laughs> let's just, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I have some other work that really like, I, I can really switch around, but for this particular show, it's definitely, Graffiti, ba graffiti influence, um, kind of just I don't know, just kind of like a really like kind of wild style. Um, yeah, I don't know, just something that you're gonna see, and it's, it doesn't have a particular large large concept behind it, but it's like kind of like a punch of beauty, you know, something that you can that you see it and you wanna you know you want it, you you want you want to look at it, and like it 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 uh, kind of like uh, seduces you. Right. Yeah. 
Oh man, this is a huge, huge step for us for sure. We've been trying to get in Toronto for a while, but we only we knew we needed to come with something, something that was that was that was uh, worthy of Toronto. You know, like the art the art scene here is, is super competitive. Just to get in here, it was a hard spot, and uh, we managed that. So um, yeah, Toronto is a is a big deal, and then hopefully moving to other cities. But yeah, this is our first this is our first show outside of Ottawa. So or for for me anyway. Or I've been in Van, but not Toronto. I'd say if I broke it down into percentages, in my opinion, I'd say like 30% talent, 70% work ethic and passion. If you if you don't want it, if you don't want it as much as the next guy, if you don't have the passion of what you're doing, if you're just if you're just trying to make money, people will see right through that. And like I think it's I think it's it's how much how much you want it, how much you actually put in, the hours you actually put in mean way more than the actual natural given talent you have. But all the, but practice as well, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, passion, <laughs> it's the main word. Yeah. Uh, the workshops is just um, when I finished my, my, uh, my degree at Sheridan for illustration, I was asked to come back to do a workshop, uh, a mural workshop for the fourth year illustration students that, pre that following fall. So um, that just came about for me doing a mural in the illustration wing at Sheridan. Um, I did that for, for free, that was just for, but it's got per permanently installed in the college, so that's why I want to do it. Kind of leave my lasting mark there. Also, kind of like the graffiti influence there, you know. Um, but, um, but yeah, so they asked me to come back because I was really the only one doing murals there as well, but, and that's kind of like, that's most of, mo 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 most of the work I do now is, is mural based, so. Uh, it taught me the business side, for sure. That's, that's the main thing. If you really want to be an artist, you can you can practice every day and you can become you know a really well you know well-rounded artist. But uh, for me in particular, my program taught me how to handle myself as a business, how to read contracts, how to negotiate contracts, how to write my own, how to you know just get jobs, how to chase opportunities, how to create opportunities. You know, so um, yeah, that was that was what I took away from it the most for sure. Favorite rapper of all time, uh, probably between Pharrell Monch and OC. Yeah, OC is, uh, yeah, he's up there. <laughs> uh, then there's, you know, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my, I'll stick with that, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, a, a newer, more current favorite, what about a Canadian rapper? Who's your favorite? Canadian rapper. I have to go old with him, man. It's a Toronto based Daniel. I have to go Daniel for sure, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, for the show, um, you know, there are, I, I tried to reach out to all the photographers of the photos that I use as reference for these paintings, right? So, in a legal way, I don't, I don't have a lot of the rights for these, for these photographs, but, um, but there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of, like, kind of, it's, it's, like, kind of read, read between the lines, like, fine print with it, but I think uh, copywriting your work is, is important, but at the same time, it's, it's so, it, everything's so easy to manipulate these days copyright unless it's like you have like a lawyer like or an, or an agent like your stuff and if you're in like the the, the, the media's eye you're not going to really have you're not going to really have too much trouble with that I don't think anyway like in my personal experience uh, I use social media for everything it's how I promote it's how I sell work predominantly it's how I met it's how I met him that's how I that's how I meet most people it's how I got the show you know it's like it, it's definitely my number one marketing tool and it's, it's the, my, the best way to be in contact with people and see what other people are doing too. So to get in contact with other artists. Um, always sign a contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah, de definitely don't go by word of mouth. Always get stuff written down on paper. Do the work that you want to, don't try to follow anyone else's, don't go in anyone, anyone else's footsteps. Don't try to do work that you think is popular just because it's hot at that moment. Do your own shit. If you think something is cool, do that and do that the best you possibly can because trends come and go, but if you're original and unique and you work hard at your shit, then that's it. You're, you'll, you'll be good, you know? And at least then, if you're not, if you don't succeed, at least you'll feel good about what you put out, you know? Won't be another clone. <laughs>